Hey, what's up guys? BJ Dell back with a new video today. Today's video, I broke down. I finally did it. I bought one of the art gloves that you see all the digital artists are using nowadays. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the art glove in action and give you my breakdown, what I think of it, the pros, the cons. Want to find out? Keep watching. All right, guys, like I said, I broke down and bought one of the art gloves that you see a lot of the digital artists online using. So that's what today's video is going to be about. Um, so the one I bought is on Amazon. It's made by Huion, Huion, H-U-I-O-N. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, it came from Amazon in this little cardboard sleeve little sticker in the back that seals it this was 10.99 off of amazon there's a lot of different ones on amazon the reason i went with this one just because basically this was the quote-unquote amazon choice one it's got the highest amount of reviews so on and so forth um like i said it's 10.99 i'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out but like i said I, for a long time now i've seen a lot of artists use these that do digital art with tablets and i've never personally used one so i decided to give it a try and kind of walk you through today's video and kind of show you the pros and cons that I've found so far using it for the past few days. So this is what the glove itself looks like. Uh, technically, it's a, a right-handed glove, but it can be used on either hand. Really, the only reason I say it's right-handed is just because the, the logo there is supposed to be on the, the top portion. And if you use it on your left hand, it's going to be on the bottom. But I mean, as far as the seams and everything like that goes, you can use it on either hand. It is a one-size-fits-all glove. I'll put it on here so you can see the fit. Put your entire hand through and then pull up. And it basically just goes over top of your pinky and your ring finger. Uh, it's got a pretty good fit to it. It's pretty tight. It's got a little bit of a, a bunch here in the fabric. Uh, but it fits really snug around my fingers and then down here to the crease of the hand. Um, I've got pretty big hands, and I know that's one of the uh, the concerns. Ordering something like this is with one size fits all. Is it going to fit? Uh, so if you've got big hands, it's going to fit. My wife has really small hands compared to mine, and I had her throw it on, even though she does not do any type of art, uh, just to kind of see the, the fit and feel. I took some pictures, so I'll throw those up like right around this time in the video so you can see how it fits her hand. It's got a little bit more uh, give to the fabric, but she said, all in all, I mean, it, it works like it should. Um, and it was, it was still fairly comfortable on her. So my biggest thing is with wearing it is just getting used to the feel of having that extra fabric on your hand. That's not something that, of course, that I usually do when I draw. And it was kind of a, a learning period for the, the first few hours using it. But now it's, it's normal. It feels... Uh, like it should be there, I guess, and it doesn't get too in the way or too distracting. So uh, I'm going to take it back off here and show you some line work with the glove or without the glove and then with the glove. So it kind of has changed the way that I draw already because when I drew, I didn't actually rest my palm on the screen. I kind of held my palm off the screen when I was doing my lines and just kind of floated. I used the tip of the pencil as kind of the leverage to do the lines and didn't really have that steadiness of resting your palm on the screen uh, just because I'll throw this on streamline and show you of course too if, if you don't follow my channel I'm using the iPad Pro uh, 12.9 inch and procreate but this will work for pretty much any drawing tablet so keep that in mind so let's go ahead and do this I'm gonna rest my palm on the screen and show you here as I'm going through my palms starting to kind of see stick to the screen and I'm getting some kind of rough lines there and you can see it move kind of the whole iPad too because it got stuck and of course it's a little sweaty just from having that on there but you don't really get the normal smooth lines that you normally would you see right there it started to, to catch um, that might be problems that people are having if they're not getting the really super uh, 
streamlined lines and, and are struggling with line weight, if you are resting your palm against the screen, that might be one of your problems. So if you want to do like I do and float the pen and and just use the, the tip as the leverage, that might solve the problem. But I think this is a lot better solution. So if you are uh, are struggling, I'll show you the difference here. And it was a, a bit of a challenge at first to rest my palm against the screen since that's not something I usually do. But I really like the feel of it now that I do it. Uh, you'll see that the there's no stopping or catching at all. It's just really straight, smooth lines. And that weight that your palm's giving for leverage against the tip of the pencil is just fantastic. So I really like it so far. I've been using it now for the past three or four days. I think it's going to be pretty much my go-to thing. As soon as I, you know, pull out the iPad and start drawing, this is going to go on immediately after. So the only thing that I don't like, and this is just really personal preference, and it's something that I've got to retrain my muscle memory on, is when I'm drawing and I mess up, I have this, I have this muscle memory build up from using Procreate now for the, the past few years. Usually before I would mess up and use this flow of my hand and use my middle finger and my ring finger to do the undo shortcut. Uh, with the glove on, it does not register your touch. So I'm so used to doing this to go back and I can't do that anymore. So I've had to kind of retrain myself over the past few days that if I do mess up, that I have to do this rather than this. So like I said, that's personal preference. You might already be doing, you know, a two finger touch with your middle finger and your index finger, or some people I know, you know, prefer the, the back button over here that they have the uh, their left hand over here and they just, you know, do this. And it's, it's just like a back and forth thing. I personally prefer the uh, two finger undo or, or three finger. And I guess that's one thing too, the three finger you'd almost have to do. I haven't, I don't use that too much and haven't done it really. You'd have to do, yeah, with the, the thumb. And when I did the three finger, I always did the middle finger or the, the ring finger, the middle finger and the index finger. So that's, uh, that's something too that you might have to uh, retrain yourself on as far as your muscle memory goes. But like I said, fantastic buy. I know it's something extra to buy, of course, but it's only $10.99. Uh, you can find cheaper ones on there too. Like I said, I just went with this one because it had the highest reviews. And the link will be in the description if you want to pick this one up. But feel free to look around on there too for, for other ones. There are cheaper ones. They do have some in uh, female sizes. Of course, it's a one-size-fits-all, so is it really going to fit? It's uh, kind of the luck of the draw with that. But we've all spent a lot of money on our, our digital art equipment. So if you've invested in an iPad and the, the Apple Pencil, honestly, ten ninety nine is not that much of a crapshoot if it doesn't work for you. It's a small investment to, to maybe see some changes, and uh, it might actually work out in your favor. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, Want to know if you guys have one of these art gloves? Let me know in the comment section what kind of brand do you guys use. And if you don't have one yet, like I said, the link is in the description. If you want to hop on over to Amazon and check one out. They're only $10.99, so it's a, a worthwhile investment. Um, if you didn't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. And then also make sure you hit that bell for notifications when I post new videos. And last but not least, we got that Facebook group going. It's growing every day. People are posting tons of stuff. So the link's in the description for that too. Hop on over, join, make some friends and start posting your work. We want to see what you guys are doing. So hop on over and join us. But as for me, I can be found online at bjdell.com and on Instagram and Twitter at bjdell. So until next time, keep creating.